When we look at the night sky, we see countless stars spread across a vast space. We can spot billions of galaxies using telescopes, each containing billions of stars. However, as immense as the observable universe is, it's just a tiny part of space. It is impossible to visualize the scale of the universe. There are roughly two trillion galaxies. Two trillion. Two thousand billion galaxies. But the number of stars we can see is only the tiniest fraction of the number of stars that are. How much of the universe lies beyond what we can observe? Let's give you the answer in today's video. Suppose we wonder about what exists beyond the observable universe. In that case, the simplest answer is that it's likely more space that resembles what we already see in our own. Stars, galaxies, and vast distances. But what lies even further? That's where things become complex and perhaps impossible to prove. To answer what might be outside the universe, we first need to define what we mean by universe. If it includes everything that exists in all of space and time, then there can't be anything outside of it. Even if the universe has a definite size and you imagine something beyond it, whatever is outside is still part of it. But if not, there could be more. But the sad truth is, we can't know. We can't see or receive any information from the parts of the universe that are unobservable. Without being able to observe it, we can never know what's out there. To make things even worse, Cosmologists are unsure whether the universe is infinitely large or has a finite size. To understand its size, astronomers focus on its curvature. How the universe curves on a large scale reveals how it is shaped. If it's perfectly flat geometrically, it could go on forever. But if it's curved, like the surface of a sphere like the Earth, it would have a finite size. The observable universe grows as time passes, letting us see more of it. However, this process is complicated. Why? Simply because of the universe's expansion and the influence of dark energy. That's a discourse for another day, so it's best to leave those details aside for now. Over the years, astrophysicists and cosmologists have proposed various ideas about the universe's nature. These theories are based on current observations, our understanding of physics and mathematics, and simulations created using this knowledge. Which one of these theories is true? Let's check them out, and you'll tell us what you think at the end of the video. First up is the Infinite Universe Theory. This theory is quite strange, yet one of the simplest to understand. Astronomers suggest that space beyond the observable universe could be an infinite continuation of what we already see. A vast expanse of galaxies, stars, and other matter arranged much like the cosmos we know. This idea feels logical because it is hard to imagine the universe suddenly changing or ending with a massive brick wall at its edge. Infinity also introduces some of the kinds of possibilities we can only dream about. With only a limited number of ways particles can be arranged, repetitions would eventually occur. This means there could be multiple Earths or even multiple versions of you, each slightly or vastly different from what exists here. Science fiction often explores this idea with alternate realities, worlds, and timelines. If the universe is infinite, it may be more of what we observe, but expanded to unimaginable extremes with countless changes and duplicates of everything. This isn't technically outside the universe. Rather, it lies beyond the limits of what we can currently see. Infinity makes sense in this context, but it also suggests something extraordinary. You wouldn't find more stars and planets beyond the observable universe you would find every possible thing, every single possibility. As we've mentioned, the universe is larger than the observable portion. It is probably quite similar to what we see within our cosmic bubble. However, if the universe is truly infinite, things can get strange. Let's take the idea of an infinite universe to its logical conclusion. It means that somewhere out there, there's another person exactly like you in every way. There's also a version of you that's slightly different, maybe an inch shorter, maybe they died in an accident five years ago, or perhaps they're missing a finger. In fact, there could be a version of you reading this same text right now, except they just picked their nose while you didn't. Or maybe you did. It could be a disturbing and almost inconceivable thought, but so is infinity itself. Still, while these arguments seem sweet to the ears and imagination, they're not definitive. 
We have no direct evidence of what lies beyond the observable universe. Some cosmologists propose a different idea. The universe might be finite but unbounded, like the surface of a sphere. In this model, if you traveled far enough in one direction, you would eventually loop back to where you started. For this to be true, the universe would have to be at least 250 times larger than the observable portion. A smaller finite universe would show noticeable curvature, which hasn't been observed. Another theory very common among many cosmologists is the higher dimensional construct. This is also called the dark flow theory, because it revolves around a phenomenon called dark flow. In 2008, astronomers noticed something unusual. Entire galactic clusters seem to be moving in the same direction at incredible speeds, over 2 million miles per hour. That's like traveling across the continent in a single hour. One possible explanation for this movement is the gravitational pull of massive structures outside the observable universe. This idea expands on the question of whether the universe is finite. If the universe is expanding, what is it expanding into? Observations, such as those made by Kashlinsky et al. in 2008, suggest that some parts of the universe experience stronger pulls than others. Kashlinsky proposed the idea of unobservable forces or dark flow, potentially caused by enormous structures beyond our observable universe. This leads to the possibility that these structures exist in a higher dimensional space and, in a way, have a great influence on our universe. If so, they could be part of a larger, incomprehensible framework outside what we can measure or understand. One other theory that some people have come up with is that we are inside a black hole. Remember all we told you about black holes? And if you've not seen it, check out our video on Mysteries of the Universe to know more about black holes. This theory might be one of the weirdest ones you'll ever likely encounter, and it sounds impossible at first, but let's break it down. A black hole distorts space-time so much that nothing, not even light, can escape past its event horizon, which is why we can't see beyond it. If you were inside a black hole, you couldn't observe what lies beyond its boundary. Does that explain why no one has ever seen the end of this observable universe? Some scientists think it does. Theoretical physicist Nikodem Popławski has extensively researched this idea. He claims that what we perceive as our universe is just a fraction of a much larger universe that was pulled into a black hole. According to this model, the Big Bang could have been the moment our universe formed from that black hole's interior and has been growing rapidly ever since. If this is true, it suggests that other black holes might also contain their own universes. Our universe, in turn, would exist as a small part of a much larger proto-universe. That proto-universe could have countless other universes inside other black holes. In this framework, the possibilities are virtually limitless. It can almost blow your mind off trying to imagine it, just like the advanced civilization theory. The idea that advanced civilizations could exist beyond the observable universe is both fascinating and puzzling. Still, it's not the first time we've heard about this. These extraterrestrial civilizations might have developed technologies so advanced that we can't even begin to understand them, just like Wakanda in Marvel's Cinematic Universe. They could be behind some of the unexplained phenomena we observe in the universe. To add to this mystery, consider that our solar system is relatively young, around 4.5 billion years old compared to the universe's 13.8 billion years. This means other civilizations could have had billions of years of a head start on us. Suppose interstellar travel is possible and advanced civilizations had enough time to develop. In that case, it raises a big question. Why haven't we seen any evidence of their visits to Earth? Or even more puzzling, why are we not able to go there? This puzzle is often called the Fermi Paradox, named after Nobel Prize-winning physicist Enrico Fermi. In a casual conversation in 1950, Fermi reportedly pointed out this inconsistency. The universe is so vast and old that intelligent alien life should have had plenty of time to explore it, including visiting Earth. Yet we see no clear signs of their presence. This paradox has left scientists and thinkers debating for decades, searching for answers to why, despite the odds, the universe seems so silent. Although Fermi passed away in 1954, his ideas are still alive. Other scientists, such as Michael Hart, took on his ideas. Hart said that if smart aliens existed, they could have visited Earth at some point in history unless they started traveling less than 2 million years ago. 
He thought the reason we don't see signs of aliens is probably because they don't exist. But he also gave four other possible reasons. Aliens couldn't come because space travel is too hard, either because of science, biology, or technology. Aliens decided not to visit us. Alien civilizations are too new, so they haven't had time to reach us. Aliens did visit Earth, but we didn't notice them. Nowadays, people are still really interested in the idea of aliens, and many scientists write about them every year. The discovery of planets outside our solar system has made the idea of aliens even more exciting. Do you think they'll come to us someday? For now, we can only anticipate. One other popular theory is the multiverse theory. Could our universe be just one of countless others in a much larger multiverse? This idea has captured both scientific imagination and pop culture. Movies like Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness take a look at the concept of alternate realities in creative and dramatic ways. But depending on the cosmologist you ask, the multiverse is more than just a storytelling tool, it could be a serious, scientific possibility. But first, what is a multiverse? The multiverse refers to the concept that other universes could exist beyond the observable universe. This sounds very similar to the infinite universe theory, right? These other universes might range from regions of space existing on different planes to bubble universes that continuously emerge and expand. Despite their differences, all these theories propose that the space and time we observe aren't the only reality. But guess what? This idea of alternate realities isn't new. As far back as 1848, Edgar Allan Poe wrote a prose poem imagining a limitless succession of universes. In modern times, scientific theories seeking to explain the nature of our universe have predicted the possibility of other universes where events and physical laws differ from what we experience. Think about this carefully. Everything you do, every choice you make, could exist in a different version of reality. If you traveled far enough into the universe, you might find another solar system just like ours. On that other Earth, everything is the same except for small changes. Maybe, instead of eating eggs for breakfast today, you ate cereal. Or maybe you didn't eat breakfast at all. Each choice creates a new possibility, and every possibility exists somewhere. If these universes exist, they are entirely separate from ours, unreachable and undetectable by current means. This lack of direct evidence has led some experts to question whether studying the multiverse can ever truly be considered science. For now, it remains an intriguing and speculative idea, blending ancient curiosity with cutting-edge theories. Will scientists ever know if our universe is the only one? The idea of a multiverse suggests that our universe might be just one of many, each potentially with its own physical laws and unique realities. But will scientists ever know for sure? While evidence remains elusive, several theories predict the existence of multiple universes, sparking curiosity and debate. Science journalist Tom Siegfried says that we cannot explain all the features of our universe if there's only one of them. For instance, some aspects of our universe's structure, like why physical constants are so perfectly tuned for life, seem to suggest there could be many other universes with different conditions. However, no direct evidence of a multiverse has been found despite this theoretical reasoning. At this point, support for the multiverse comes from theoretical physics and, in some cases, philosophical speculation. While it sounds very captivating, it remains one of the most tantalizing mysteries in modern science. Some experts believe it might be a grand cosmic coincidence that the Big Bang created a perfectly balanced universe suited for life as we know it. Others think it's more likely that countless physical universes exist, and we simply inhabit the one with the conditions for survival. One major challenge is whether the multiverse is even a testable theory. By definition, a multiverse is independent of our universe and may be fundamentally inaccessible. Some scientists argue that this makes it impossible to prove empirically. However, others suggest that we may lack the tools or understanding to test the concept effectively. Physicist James Kakalios said that some people take these ideas seriously because they help address certain philosophical issues. For example, they offer a possible explanation for why our universe appears so finely tuned for life. Will we ever know if our universe is one of many? The answer is uncertain. Directly proving the existence of a multiverse may not be possible. However, various scientific theories predict multiverses. 
And if those theories can be rigorously tested and validated, they might indirectly support the multiverse idea. For now, it remains a fascinating, unresolved question in science. But the idea of infinite pocket universes or bubble universes, each with its own set of physical laws or constants, is appealing and has received attention. It's called the infinite bubbles theory. If the universe isn't infinite, it opens the door to a new definition of the universe. In this view, our universe is just one bubble or patch of space governed by its unique physical laws. These bubbles exist within a much larger multiverse, where other patches of space might operate under completely different rules of physics. These bubbles are separated by vast voids, so immense that traveling between them would be impossible even with infinite time. Prominent scientists like Stephen Hawking, Max Tegmark, Alan Guth, and Andre Lindy have explored and debated the details of this theory. According to some interpretations, these bubble universes might interact gravitationally. If they were to collide, such a meeting could spark an event similar to the Big Bang, creating a new universe. One other theory making the rounds is the parallel universe theory. The concept of parallel universes is a fascinating topic, and one of the most widely discussed theories today comes from an evolution of string theory. This theory has been expanded to include the idea of membranes, or brains, which exist and vibrate in higher dimensions beyond our familiar three dimensions of space and one of time. According to this idea, these membranes ripple within an 11-dimensional space. When two of these brains collide, they create a massive release of energy, resulting in the birth of a new universe. This process could explain how universes like ours form and why matter is distributed in the way we observe. One particularly strange aspect of this theory is how it explains the force of gravity. Unlike the other fundamental forces, like electromagnetism, gravity in our universe seems incredibly weak. The theory suggests this could be because gravity is leaking into our universe from another one in a different dimension. This idea could account for gravity's relative weakness compared to the other forces. While the full details of string and membrane theory are complex, the basic idea is that parallel universes might exist as separate realms on rippling membranes in higher dimensions, interacting in ways that shape our universe. There are even more exotic possibilities about the nature of our universe. For example, a simulation running on an advanced alien supercomputer could exist. While intriguing, these ideas are highly speculative and beyond the reach of current scientific testing, leaving them more in the realm of science fiction than science fact. Ultimately, the true scope of the unobservable universe remains a mystery, possibly one we'll never solve. The observable universe might be a tiny island surrounded by an infinite expanse or one of countless bubble universes in an ever-expanding multiverse. We simply don't know. Yet this profound question has fascinated cosmologists and captured the public's imagination for decades, pushing the boundaries of what we dare to explore. The observable universe is incredibly vast, spanning 93 billion light years across and containing at least 2 trillion galaxies. Yet it is likely only a tiny fraction of the entire cosmos. Although we can't directly observe what lies beyond our cosmic horizon, Cosmological theories and the observed flatness and uniformity of space suggest that the universe extends far beyond what we can see, perhaps infinitely. In this perspective, the observable universe could be nothing more than a tiny speck within an unimaginably grand cosmic expanse. The true nature of the unobservable universe may always remain a mystery, forever beyond the limits of our telescopes. Ultimately, the extent of the universe is constrained only by the boundaries of our scientific theories and the breadth of human imagination. The observable universe is vast, but it might be just a small island in an infinite cosmic ocean, or one universe among countless others in a multiverse. Which of these theories do you think is real? Let us know in the comments section below.